Are you a fan of the country fair jamboree? If you are, this video is made for you. I am very, very excited to discuss with you the Country Bear Jamboree. Ever since I rode this attraction, way back when, I fell in love with the whimsical characters, the music. There's just a lot happening in this attraction, and I, for one, had to have a figure. Let's dive into the Country Bear Jamboree and discuss Baby Oscar. I do remember when I went to Disney World for the first time, seeing the bears and just falling in love with the show. Handcrafted by some of the top Imagineers ever to be at Imagineering. Of course, the songs are just catchy and they're memorable. I think that in this attraction, every single person has a favorite character for a different reason. Think about pirates. We all have a favorite pirate. Think about mansion. We all have a favorite ghost. This is no different and it is truly iconic and I believe that it should be at every Disney park. I think that if a Critter Country expansion were ever to happen at Disneyland, it would be a fantastic re-addition to the resort. For my figure, I fell in love with Oscar. I also fell in love with a lot of the characters, to be honest with you. I thought about making the entire band. Unfortunately, I ran out of space a long time ago, so I really had to condense and prioritize what figures I was making. Oscar I've had for quite a number of years. If you're coming from my Instagram family, hello and welcome. He was so much fun to fur and to paint. So the process with Oscar for me was obviously I had to make a full fursuit and that was a first for me because I first and foremost was a painter at figure finishing and then coming from that into fabrics and sewing, I didn't know a whole lot. So I'm the type of person that I'm not afraid just to go for it. And Oscar was no different. Second, it was all about the pose. I definitely wanted to go true to the figure as I could possibly do. That includes making the teddy bear as well. I could not find for the life of me, the teddy bear. I really thought when I saw him, oh, that's gonna be really easy to find and I could not find the bear anywhere so I just had to make it. I worked on this bear two or three times before I got him right. Whenever you see anything in the attractions or on an Instagram page or a YouTube video, it's the final product typically and you don't see the trial and error. I truly think that the country bears are timeless. I think that they are so lovable and so well made. I know that during Walt's final days here, he walked into Mark Davis's office and he saw the bears that were still in concept phase at that time and he really liked what he saw. So that just shows that those original Imagineers that worked with Walt really knew what they were doing and they truly understood the power of storytelling, the power of a good song, and the importance of lovable characters. And of course, it had the best of the best. The heads were sculpted by Blaine Gibson. Truly, if I could ever go back in time and work with any team, it would be the original Wed Imagineers. I remember having lunch one day with Kevin Rafferty, who's now retired, and he would tell me stories of when he first started it was like a family. Everyone knew each other. We were all one team. And now everything is so big and so large that no one really knows one another. And we're all kind of segregated into different sections and you can't really paint anymore because now you're just here. And that's the downside. I think that when a corporation becomes so big and so large is that you lose that personal connection. That's why for me, when I worked in figure finishing and there was only four of us, it was truly an amazing experience for me because I was working on a lot of the older figures like Pirates of the Caribbean and Splash Mountain and It's a Small World. And I really liked being in SQS and SQS stands for show quality services. And of course you just maintain and enhance and better existing figures. And I really found that that truly to me, because I'm such an old school type of guy, 
I excelled in that. As a child, I was so incredibly impressed and just fascinated with Disney and the magic and the characters. I remember loving the Matterhorn Yeti. So for me to have the honor to work on some of these original figures was still to this day, one of the biggest and best jobs that I've ever had. And that is why I just can't stop creating, honestly. It's so fun for me to push myself and think, oh, what figure would be fun to make? What figure did I work on that I would like to recreate from scratch? A lot of them are very intimidating and it's when I become intimidated that I go for it. I don't like being afraid of accomplishing something. Country Bears is beloved by so many and I cannot wait for you to get an up close and personal look at baby Oscar and his teddy bear. So without further ado, let's get a nice zoom in of Oscar. so much everyone for joining me today on Imagine with Royce. I had an amazing time with you. If you like what you saw, please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon so you could be notified whenever I upload a new video. I am going to be doing lots more of these up close and personal looks at some of my favorite figures in my collection. So until next time everyone, have a wonderful day and always remember not just to follow your dreams but to chase them.